The Executive Governor of Cape State, the Honorable Minister of Information, and members of the National Assembly, and all of you, please, you are invited to Gamma Guys Secondary School Bazaar. I have told you from the beginning that we have 63 new model secondary school constructed uh, rehabilitated by the executive governor of Cape State. So this is one of them. It, it is one among the 63 upgraded secondary school. But this one is for girls only. Boarding secondary school with a population of over 1,900 students. We have a minimum of 18 classes. We have multi-purpose hall. We have a hostel. We have VIP toilets. And the school has a very sound, strong wall which protect our children from going outside. Thank you. This, this year we were 20, 21 or 20, 22. Before we are down, we were, we were the last, second to the last before this time. Yobi and Kebi and Zafara, they are the last three. But now we were waking up. Because the teaching environment has improved, sir. Before this time, there were classes that has 120 to 130 students in one class. See, see, principal, see, commissioner of science before. Now I want to remember. I shall say in any child and that punishment will go up to the parent but normally what we do if children fail to come to school we report them to the district head of the area the district head of the area and the village heads will take care of it unless if the parent and the child become very very truant then they will be taken to court the, the uh, progress of gay child education in the north. And in recent times, the federal government has been trying to do some special schools to promote uh, gay child education. Now you are building separate boarding houses for girls and secondary schools in KB. What is um, the ratio of uh, gay child enrollment in primary and secondary schools? And also what is the drop up to a dropout rate for girls because most of the time girls start after three four classes they are pulled out of school what is the situation in KB? Let, let me let me say this in KB we know the value of education from day one we have been exporting manpower to the center that's the major one of the major areas that we are good at so encouraging girls child is something that no matter where a girl has been taken to, we'll send her there. We have never ever failed to send our girls to federal government colleges. No matter where. I had girls in my, in my class who went to Odubolu, Oweri, Epene Epene, Otupet Epene. There is no school. My, one of my nephews went to Wari. Balaka Oje, who is the treasurer of the party, went to Wari. So in Kebi, we don't have that problem. Do you have a law that is prohibiting anybody from, from targeting girl child education in your state, sir? What? Do you have any law? This is, this is why, what we are saying. In, in this place, we don't have that problem at all, honestly speaking. And if those are cases that you can see on the newspaper pages at any given time if they happen. Great. Great. Great.